Good morning, guys. Okay, it's been a long time. Then uh, I haven't done any checkup uh, on the bike with the motor scan. And, uh, you know, we have returned from a very long trip. Uh, from the Alps. And uh, around Italy. We did like uh, almost 3000 kilometers. Mountain and back roads. So, I think it's time to check the bike a little bit. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen anything wrong with that, but... Uh, Okay, just remember how we do it again. We have to look in for the arrow. Yeah, the arrow is here. And looking for the other arrow. It's a beautiful day, but we're expecting a heavy rainfalls the next two days. And I can see clouds already developing. You know, it, this is this is this is seems like there's the other arrow. Like if you don't find the arrows, we're just gonna spend time just to be looking around the thing. All right. You see, it's already picking up the bike, so I'll just leave it there. Let's get uh, the up. Um. There you go. Okay, so <laughs> it's been a long time. I haven't, uh, you know, used this. So we are on the R series K25. All right, uh, and let me turn the engine on, power on. And let's see, how do you like brake system? OBD Link LX Connected, you see the green here? Alright, so let's see here uh, RD Theft Alarm, Instrument Panel uh, Let's go again We're looking for uh, Trouble codes uh, under voltage 5DF4 wheel speed sensor front. You know, this is because uh, I'm going to take a picture of that, all right, and uh, I'm going to remove them. Uh, this is because I changed the, uh, the brake uh, discs. Before I leave, I left the trip. This is what I suspect. All right, and under vole voltage, uh, I'm not sure. So I'm going to clear the trouble codes. Uh, clear trouble codes. All right. But I took a picture, so I, I can see if they're coming back again. You know. All right. So let's go read trouble codes again on the ABS. Nothing. So that was probably it, but we'll see. Okay, we'll, we'll go to RD Theft Alarm System. <coughs> Excuse me. Read trouble codes. Uh, tire pressure sensor front reception interference. 1917. I can go to the computer later and read them. Uh, so let me clear that. Clear trouble codes. All right. No need trouble codes. Nothing. Okay, so we go back again to the Kobe. Read trouble codes. Nothing. Good. Oh, there is Harley. Harley. Where are you going, baby? She got bored. She was sitting up there. 
and uh, nothing in Kobe. That's good, really good. Kobe is very important. All right, let's go to Engine Electronics MOT. All right, let's see if there's anything in here. We got two. Oil level sweets. No can message. I gotta check both of them. Uh, error rate one, engine speed, intake air, temperature, battery voltage, after starting the engine, no signal, test, conditions met, error, no login present, but already started, 21. Alright, so that means uh, fault will not cause a warning lamp to illuminate. See that? Number 30. So, I can clear the code. No can message. Let's check this out. Uh, engine speed, intake, uh, air temperature, battery voltage 13, after starting engine, no single error, no longer present but already stored. Fault will not cause a warning illuminate okay that's good all right so that means uh you know what let me take a picture of that too so i have it all right so let's go back and let's take a picture of that so i can check on the computer later i think i already did that so clear trouble codes from mot clear trouble codes Trouble codes again. All right. And uh, what's left? Uh, radio operating in central charge electronics. Let's check that. Read trouble codes. Heated handle grips. Yes, I know. The left one I did uh, yesterday again because it was not working. So why not take a picture of that? Let me see if it says anything here. Okay, battery voltage, vehicle speed, no signal, no volume, test present and already stored. Error present and already stored. Present. Hmm. Okay, I don't need a picture of that. And uh, heated grips. Okay, let me clear that because heated grips, I fixed them yesterday and they're working. Clear trouble codes. Clear trouble codes. All right, we're good. So, uh, service functions I don't need. We're all good up to here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off and start the engine and go over it again. See if there's any new trouble codes we have. All right, so always I disconnect, uh, I turn off power. Hold on. Okay, I turn off power. Then you take this off. Don't take this off with the power on. Okay. Put it in the side for now. All right. I'm gonna turn engine on.
Okay. Let's put a buck. Okay, auto is here. The other auto is here. Maybe. Yes. Turn it to the left a little bit. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's turn the ignition on. All right. Let's go back again. Okay, I'm gonna have to close the app and uh, reopen the app. Okay, R series K25. All right, let's see if it's gonna connect now. All right, connected. And right, let's go one by one again. Of course, the, the right thing to do is take it for a ride, okay, but uh, I don't have to do, there was nothing in there right now. Add the theft alarm, you always check add the theft alarm, because there's other things in there too. Go look the other videos, nothing there, okay, Kobe, read trouble codes, nothing there, that's good. Uh, it doesn't mean we finish. MOT, rich trouble codes, nothing there, that's good. And uh, we have central chassis electronics, and uh, rich trouble codes, yeah, heated grips. Alright, I gotta check this out. You see, we have this little problem here. Okay, so I'm gonna check the grips and uh, that's how you check your bike. All right, let's turn it on. Let's put it on ohm. Okay. I'm confusing. So uh, you have to press this to put it on ohm and then all this all the way down to beep, all right? Put this here. Let's see first if we have connection <sighs> on this one. I fixed it yesterday, but you know, this one is good. All right, I'll be back. Step to remove that is put your nail here. There is a little safety. Okay, if you don't pull out this safety, it will probably break it. Okay. And the big one, you just pull it out from the clip, right there. And there is also another safety here. And I find that the easiest way to do it is... Three hands. Alright. Why they haven't put the, the safety on the front? I don't know. All right, I'll take it inside for inspection. This is this is this is the connections, and uh, it doesn't seem to have any problem, you know. Let me check again. All right. So you see, if this two connected, hmm. You see that? Yes. Yes. I miss something. Sometimes works, sometimes not. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna take it to the bench. All right. Came to help me or to bother me? Probably the second one. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, this tape is also okay. Ve make sure it's very thin, so you can put the uh, the grip on. Uh, Right. Okay. Remember when you do that, if you haven't watched the other episodes last year, you don't have to remove that stuff, right? You're working here. I'm just checking our new uh, group here. Great Mountain Passes, if you haven't uh, checked it out. Go there and uh, log in. Become a member, it's a lot of fun. Uh, okay, so basically, it tricked me yesterday. Working fine, but looks like it might be a loose connection somewhere. Because, you know, when you like, you know, move it and everything, it connects. Then it disconnects. Okay, so that means it's something like uh, thinner than a hairline. All right. You see now. It's not connected. Yesterday, yeah, I take everything and it worked fine. So we have a loose connection. Okay. Uh, I'm putting the GoPro a little bit closer so you can see things. Okay. See what I'm talking about? So the way to check that is you gotta find first, you gotta find the area so you don't start looking around with a magnified glass all right so to find the area she's still not working let me just put it a little bit closer i'm gonna put it here so you can see a little better but you get an idea all right so i'll start with this one here and these are my previous welds last year okay so I'm holding this here. I'm holding this here and checking the welds. So up to here, all the section is good. So I'm going to the last weld now here and checking this section. You hear the beep? Okay, so everything is connected here. All right, so we're getting a weld from here too, and we're going this section. Hold on. No. No. Uh, let's check this a little bit more careful. All right, these two, they are connected. All right, these four, they are connected. Okay. Let me check again. Okay, so we have to check. Connected, connected, connected. Okay, up to here is connected. These two are connected. So we're getting close to the other side. I don't know what's going on. No, it's connected. Oh boy. You see the problem is? I move something and now it's connected. So I can't really, you know, look for the problem. It has to be disconnected to find the problem. Uh, let me see if I can do something. Otherwise, I'm going to go through all the welds again. So it must be... All right, you know what? I'm going to go through all the welds. They're not too many anyway. It's like, what, 10, 15 welds. And I'll be back.
Right, I'm suspecting this is the area, but uh, you know, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna go through all of them. I don't have uh, magnifying uh, glasses, so I use two glasses, so I can see all these little corners here, they are almost invisible. And I use uh, a welding uh, gun with a power station, I'm going to show you, but uh, very good quality wood. You know, solder, it's also very important. You don't want to put too much material on it because the waves will scrub the weld. I um, have done this, this side, okay. Uh, it might be a new one, you know, so what I what I do now is I'm going to go through it again. And then I'm going to start looking for a hairline cracks in the corners. It's actually thinner than a hairline. Hairline is, <laughs> it will be nice because, you know, you can see it. This I recommend if you start doing it first, get a magnifying glass. I have it. I just don't have it here somewhere. I have to like, you know, look for it. Okay, so... Alright, let's check it out. Again. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze again the whole thing. See if it's gonna disconnect somewhere. You know, the problem is uh, this is what happened last time. All right, I don't see anything. I'm gonna put it on the bike. That's it there now. You don't have to install it all the way, just put the uh, the power on. And test it. Okay.
Okay, so... Alright. Thank God it's the left, because the right one is... It takes a long time. It's not that bad, but it's more complicated than this one. Alright, so it works. And uh, I'm gonna put it back, so... Let me see if this thing is recording. It's recording so you can see it. Alright, so basically what you do is, you put the clip back, very important, right here. And there's another clip here, right here. So these two clips inside hold uh, the connectors in, 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 in position, okay? Then... cover on I put the cover on now because it's more easy before I put the bolt and don't lose these little ones um, it's a T I don't know very little one because uh, you can really fit you I, I recommend use BMW nuts and bolts if you can because uh, Maybe they're not the perfect quality, but they have been designed for whatever hardware you have here. Okay. And this, this is uh, plastic. ABS plastic, so you don't have to like tie them too much, just a little bit. Otherwise you're going to be looking for a new cover. Okay. Then we're gonna put this one that holds the handle and the grip in place. Okay, it has a little knot that goes on the top. And I also hand tied that too. All right, I'm gonna do another test right now before I put the grip on. Wait for the last. <laughs> Get some tape and I'll be back. This is just, uh, you know, scotch tape to hold the welds in place. Very important, I think. Just use a very regular, a thin one, not, not a thick one. Because uh, if you have a 3M, 3M has also, you know, a thick one. All right, so, okay, this is what I use. Put a little bit in here. Don't be afraid of it, it will not rotate your grip, but it will save your welds. All right. You know, it's just my opinion. I mean, you don't have to do what I'm saying. But uh, from my experience, you see what you see. Okay. Let's get... Uh Let's get this one. It's 
So, you know, if you have a Beamer, I don't care if it's uh, 2021 or uh, in the 90s, uh, a GS I'm talking about particular, okay, you gotta take care of it. You gotta know how to, you know, work around the bike. It's not a job bike, <laughs> it's a Beamer. You have you you gotta have basic uh, uh, mechanic skills. Uh, you, you develop them. It's just you know watch YouTube. Or uh, it's a lot of fun. And the bike handles beautifully, beautifully. And that's the reason I love it. Plus, you get the uh, the boxer engine that. It has a really good feeling, like same like a Harley. I have a Harley, but this is why I love this bike because the, the, the noise, the power, and the torque. And I don't know, there is something different. I, I have a lot of job bikes in my life. I have a beautiful Honda with the V engine, the CX500. I have a Phaser speed bikes. I have another Beamer speed bike. I have a, another three Harleys in my past life. I have a, a, a XT550, that was my first adventure bike. I have a Katana 1100 Yamaha. I have another Yamaha. I have a Suzuki TS. I don't even remember. I have a lot of bikes in my life. Thank God. So, you have to, you know, well, if you have a Beamer, you have to work around it. And I like it. Yes. You might think I'm crazy, but I like it. And if you take care of your bike, it will take care of you. We just came back from a very hard uh, trip around Europe. You know, we did from Greece to Italy, the Alps. And uh, we got a little bit uh, in uh, Switzerland and Austria, but that doesn't count really. It's just a little bit, but most of it was like the whole Italy. And uh, the bike, we, have ne we never have any problem with the bike, thank God. We got tired, we got exhausted, we have a problem with us. Now with the bike. Okay, and same thing on, uh, on every bike I have. Same thing on a Harley. You know, after so many years, uh, I took the Harley apart last year. That's not the one. It took me... Uh, seven months to restore it. You know, I want to touch on this a little more. Uh, what is it? T25? No. Yeah, it's a T. You know, look, look, go look. There are like 40 episodes on uh, YouTube. The whole process is on YouTube. If you're into that, okay, that's it. Not too much. It's aluminum. Yeah, that was a T25, and then we won a T55. And uh, when you do that, okay, make sure that's a trick. Your lever, it won't touch. It will be a little bit on the on the on the line between the 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 gray and the black, right there. So it won't touch the plastic for any reason, especially the right one. You have to be careful with that. Some people have problems. Okay, so this two to fifty-five. A little bit more. Right, that's good.
Okay, it's connected. Let's go to Central Chassis Electronics, ZFE. Heated grips. Error, no login present. Okay, you see that? Error, no longer present, but already stored. Okay, remember before? <laughs> okay, that was saying error was uh, is present. It's no longer present. That means it's working. All right. So we can actually now go back. I was an 830D. I have already taken a picture of that. All right, and uh, clear. Clear trouble codes, clear trouble codes. All right, go back, back again. Central Charge Electronics. Okay, read trouble codes. Nada, nothing. Finito. All right, good. All right, you see what I'm talking about? Okay, so the, we fix it. It works. All right. Uh, so this is a good example of how to work around your bike, all right? It, this thing gives you a lot of information, so uh, I'm going to do uh, another part on, of this video so you can see, uh, you know, how to work around the motoscan. Very important. It saves you a lot of time by going to the dealer, plus money. Think about it. Another thing I'm going to say before I close this video is, hi, Creon. What is Harley? Harley is our card, black one. It's like if it doesn't connect quick, just quit the app, okay? Quit completely, like that. And when you turn it on, it will just work, okay? All right, if there's anything else, you're gonna see me again. Otherwise, uh, you guys, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Um, nothing else come to mind. One more thing is, turn off the bike first, completely, before you disconnect that. I don't know why I say that, but, you know, I have a bad feeling about disconnecting this uh, with a bike running, okay? So, that's it. Signing out. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks.